Hi, in this video, I will be talking about real gases. Real gases follow the ideal gas law only at sufficiently low densities. Now, what do we mean by low densities? Now, first of all, when we talk about densities in gas, we're, referring, we're not referring to the usual mass over volume, but we're talking about the number of number density. This number density is defined as the number of molecules of gas divided by the volume. Right? Now, the densities of gases become lower at conditions of low pressure and high temperature. So you try to imagine at low pressure condition and high temperature, the distances between molecules are large and so they have lower density. So at these conditions, real gases behave as ideal gas. And so at these conditions, you can easily use the ideal gas equations that we have learned previously. Now, for example, okay, at high pressure, the Boyle's law, PV equals to a constant, is no longer satisfied. And that the Charles law, which states that volume is directly proportional to temperature, begins to break down at low temperature. Uh -huh. We will analyze these concepts more okay, in the succeeding slides. I have here a figure showing you how gases behave at very high pressure. Now, at the left side of this graph at the y-axis we have here the compressibility factor z this compressibility compressibility factor z is equal to the ratio of pv with n r t and we know that this is equal to one for ideal gas as you can see in this line here okay this is at at any at any pressure uh, the the ratio remains as 1. That is the uh, property of ideal gas. However, this is not true for most gases because most gases, they behave differently at this extreme condition. Like, as you can see here, nitrogen, nitrogen um, changes in uh, um, the compressibility factor steeply as you increase the pressure and similarly for hydrogen and for methane however for methane here it it uh, slightly dips at moderate pressure and then from there on it goes in an upward direction now we will discuss what what kind of behavior this is later in the succeeding slides now the important thing here is that most of gases deviate from the ideal gas law or the ideal gas uh, equation. Now at the right, right hand side we have here the similar graph but a uh, similar graph but this is uh, for a particular gas which is nitrogen at a different temperature. As you can see at very low temperature of negative 100 degrees Celsius or 173 Kelvin the compressibility factor of nitrogen gas initially dips at around uh, 100 atmosphere and from then it slightly uh, increases until it uh, exceeds the ideal gas uh, boundary here okay and then continue to increase furthermore at high pressure uh, now why is this happening this happens because at very low temperature the gas molecules okay they, they move very slow and since they're moving very slowly, there's more time for these two molecules to interact. Okay? At each time, there's more time for them to interact with one another. And uh, therefore, decreasing the collision rate that could happen with the wall of the container. Okay? Now, decrease in collision rate is proportional to decrease in pressure and that is the reason why here if we consider 
the compressibility factor, which we define as the ratio of PV over NRT, this decreases, and so the whole ratio uh, decreases uh, by one. Okay. Now, if we further decrease the temperature of nitrogen gas to around negative 196 degrees Celsius, for example, the nitrogen begins to liquefy. In fact, at this temperature, uh, nitrogen, nitrogen. Uh, in fact, at this this temperature is the condensation point of nitrogen, or the melting point of nitrogen. A very low temperature, and most gases they they exhibit uh, liquefaction at a very low temperature. Okay. Now, if you look at the uh, this graph here, figure showing you the uh, high temperature of around uh, room temperature, 25 degrees Celsius, or around uh, um, 600 degrees Celsius, uh, what happens is that as you increase the temperature, the curve approaches the ideal gas more and more. If you further increase this, uh, for example, to 1000 degrees Celsius, you can predict that the the graph would look more like this one. Okay, it approaches the ideal gas because at higher temperature molecules they move faster, so there's l less l less chance for the molecules to interact. This is lesser at uh, high temperature. We have here a figure similar to the previous one, but uh, represented in a slightly different way. Okay. Now, instead of using the compressibility factor Z, which is PV over NRT, we're using the ratio of PV over RT. This represents, uh, or this is used for one mole of gas molecule, or gas sample, I'm sorry. Okay, now for one mole of gas sample, the ratio PV over RT should be equal to 1 uh, for ideal gas. Now, uh, similar to the previous one, we have your different gases. And uh, as you can see, uh, if you look at the lines here, the curves, they're showing great deviations you know, from the ideal gas as the pressure is increased. Now, the good thing about this figure is that uh, this portion is blown up this portion here and uh, you can see it around here and this shows that at uh, low pressure of less than 5 atmosphere the all gases behave pretty much like ideal gas uh, the ratio is pretty much equal to or close to 1 all right but at higher pressure okay as you increase the pressure okay the deviations happen so this is what we want to analyze at this point. Okay, now if you look at this graph here, you can see that for hydrogen or helium, the trend is in this way. It's going you know, continuously upward deviation from the ideal gas. However, the uh, molecules of uh, methane and carbon dioxide have a slightly different trend, and that is at uh, moderate pressure okay it dips and then goes in an upward trend it dips and then it goes in an upward trend now why does this happen okay now this happens actually for polar molecules like methane and carbon dioxide and uh, this kind of dipping doesn't happen with uh, um, hydrogen and uh, helium because they are nonpolar molecules okay that so that's one reason for that okay and uh, this uh, this observations in detail okay is caused by two kinds of effect let's discuss first the first one the first one is the effect of intermolecular attraction and this happens when the ratio is below one okay if it dips below this line uh, the reason for that is the intermolecular attraction. Now, what, what do we mean by this? What we mean is that if we have uh, a gas, okay, 
uh, with an external pressure of one atmosphere, the gas molecules inside are actually far from each other. And so they behave pretty much as, uh, as a ideal gas. However, if you increase that um, pressure into a higher one, okay, anything greater than one atmosphere, the molecules inside become very near with each other. Okay. And because of this nearness, that attractions between them starts to happen. And when there's attractions between molecules, their collision rate is affected. And how is it affect the collision rate? The collision rate with the wall okay, becomes lesser because this is attracted. They are attracted to one another. So this neighboring molecule here is attracting this molecule here and so lessening the collision in the wall. And therefore, the effect is that the pressure is decreased. So the pressure is decreased and so the ratio is become less than one, 1. Okay, It becomes lesser than 1 and so this line dips. But as you further increase the pressure, the external pressure, this effect becomes uh, uh, not the predominating effect anymore. What happens is the predominating factor becomes the effect of molecular volume now. Now each gas molecules contain a certain vo volume. So each of these gas molecules has volume in itself as determined by the directions of its bonds okay, and the structure of the molecule. And so if we compress a certain gas sample at a very high external pressure, these gas molecules become very near with each other, very, very near, okay? And so they start uh, uh, repulsing each other okay, or repelling each other. So they repel each other in this way. All right, so this one here and this one another here. And because of that repulsion, they uh, tend to collide more with the wall, okay? The collision rate increases and hence the pressure increases. And so at increasing external pressure, this increases while the volume remains virtually constant because it becomes harder for you to... Uh, to compress it because the molecules do have uh, volume in itself and so with increasing pressure the ratio becomes greater and greater than one and that's the reason why we we um, observe this kind of behavior for most gases that is because gas molecules have molecular volume in themselves